Okay, let's push in the centre here. I think because it's if it's you know because it is a casual game, I think the players just think, well, it's not going to affect my rating, so I can just blob out anytime. Don't need to finish the game. So attack the bishop. It's going to carry on taking the bishop. Shall we hit this knight? But he does have a two on one with his knight and his knight there. So shall we hang fire on that? Smaller piece attacking the higher piece. A little bit uncomfortable for the pawn being there by itself. Excellent. Okay. So let's attack the knight. remember it's a three minute zero game my brain was just about to relax <laughs> so we can take opens up mm, we can leave it there I'm gonna take he's liking this doubling aspect all right so they put a lot of thought into that maneuver going to attack the pawn even though it's going to be easily defended but it might not, you never know. It also improves the queen because it's off the back, links up the rooks. So there's pluses for that move. Knight's defending. Could go blasting here, but he's starting to make space towards our king. So we want to be looking at getting the knight moving with the discovery on the knight. What I don't want is for them to claw back the time. Time is a big factor in these short, crappy games. Yeah, I'm going to take his queen is going to be looking for this with the bishop but at this moment we can go here or we can go here we can bring the queen to attack the pawn is he looking for a rook rover don't forget the knight can take him here but he can come here it's attacking this pawn and we come on let's do something knight here or shall we just push this pawn let's push this pawn first Losing important seconds. Now they're moving quick. And let's bring the rook here. Must be a bullet specialist. So all I'm trying to do is block off their attempts. I have my sights of my potential attack on their queen, but it looks a little bit slow compared to the attacks that they're throwing in. Yeah, look, it's just straight in again. Yeah, I could attack, but the bishop is there. Um, oh, he's going for the thing, isn't he? He's going for that. Let's just move. Valuable seconds there. Yeah, he's just constantly attacking. Constantly has things to hit. Giving me things to think about. That's what we talk about, you know, with, with our moves. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a thunderstorm. He's just taking stuff off the board, left, right and centre, everything's getting taken off. So slow and precise. Let's hit the Queen. If there's, a, there's no back rank because the Bishop's covering that square, that's what they're praying on. Twenty-two seconds they're on. Trap my night. Push ah, checkmate. Nice one. Okay, just um a session around looking at the games lost and how we evaluate and see if we can assess and improve the games going forward pick up any little snippets of move orders etc we attack the rook bring the rook across supporting so that's a little bit after the event isn't it the rook move so we have the idea but it probably should have been done a little bit earlier 
So developing the knight, supporting, x-raying through to the queen and attacking the queen and attacking the queen again. But this is a lot of, it looks good. It feels like we're doing something positive, but are we really improving our position? Because if you have a look at our queen, our queen now is opposite the rook. And we even say it during our games, it's always nice to have the rook opposite the queen, just in case it all kicks off. And we didn't follow that um, aspect in the game. Had plenty of time. So we moved the bishop, thinking, yes, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. They moved the queen. So we attack, attack. And now we move the bishop just to the wrong place. It wasn't a mouse slip, it was done on purpose because we're thinking, oh, we're going to attack the bishop and we've got the knight being able to support. But what we forgot to um, factor in was, once that comes here, once the knight takes, then the knight takes, the bishop can take the pawn because if the pawn takes the bishop, the rook is taking the queen. So we're going to be down a piece from that. And that's the key takeaway from this particular game here. Um, always stick with what you know. And I believed I was covered during the game. It was a quick game, but still, you know, it can happen in your longer games as well. I thought I was covered, feeling a little bit arty and clever, coming around attacking. But I've got a rook opposite the queen. Whenever you've got a rook opposite the queen, you have to reassess your situation and get that queen moved. Okay, let's push in the center here. See if we can bring any of the learning that we've done from our recent evaluation into the game. Let's capture. I'm going to still continue doing this. I, f I think that's okay. I'm just taking here. Gives us space to be able to br bring the knight out. Let's develop the bishop and let's castle. stick with what we like doing so i'm just bringing the bishop here let's take they're moving very quick and let's just go for this knight do we take with the bishop or the pawn tricky 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 i'm going to take with the pawn obviously attacking the bishop next if it stays there Ooh. now tempo 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 let's Attack the bishop. That's what we said we we're going to do. Queen takes. The bishop can still take the pawn here. But then he's looking to do some sort of. Oh. Don't you just hate that? Oh. I don't even want to take the pawn. I don't even want to take it. Oh. I feel sick. Right. Is there anything we can do? Look at him straight here. Bang. Ah. <sighs> Oh, he's not doing it. Whew. Missed opportunity there. There would have been up a pawn. I don't think we can change anything, can we? Just move the king or move the pawn. Just move the pawn. Overthinking it now. But yeah, there would have been up a pawn there. Need to move a bit quicker. Although when they do this slow thing in these... Oh, he's up a pawn anyway, it makes no difference. Let's go here, see if they panic. Look how slow the moving looks. Slow, slow, slow. Uh. Come on, make a duff move. But you're not going to if you're moving this slow, are you? Going for a queen exchange with the plus one. Ah, oh, shabby times. Trying to squeeze in here to make it look good. I don't think that's going to work either. Let's try to squeeze there. It's too much. Queen's coming for the bishop. Look how slow they're moving. It's just too purposeful. Honestly, you know, there's no panic whatsoever. Uh, let's go here. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, dear me. Right, they're plus one. Their time is running out though, so if they're going to be moving this slow, we should be able to get some sort of advantage. Because we can move a little bit quick ourselves. Unless, of course, they're now going to be a bullet specialist all of a sudden. Oh, I thought that we'd had it there. Let's attack this. Let's give them things to think about. Oh, we could win the port, Bishop. Let's do some fancy business. It's got a mad poor majority on this side. We're going to get mashed. Come on. Now it's going to support. No. Okay, right. So, let's see if we're going like this. Their seconds are running out. It should be not possible for them to get anything now. Let's hit this. Let's come here. Let's come here. Let's take. Move the king. Boom, boom, boom. It should be impossible for them to get anything. With the second going down like this now. Six seconds. Oops. Two seconds. They can't do anything with two seconds. Look at, look, the, suddenly a bullet specialist. See how slow they were moving earlier. It's shocking. Yeah, well, we'll take that. You can't, you can't do it. You got, you haven't got enough seconds. He said, "Well played." I'll put "well played" back as well. Okay. A little bit of a puzzle. Uh, this is from a free and O blitz game. National Master versus a twenty-two hundred. So a 2100 versus a 2200 and the find the best move for black knight oh knight coming here straight off um yes yeah, so knight there pawn takes rook takes with a check king here that doesn't looks a bit messy don't it? there's too many variables but i'm still drawn to this i don't know why or maybe no, not that. Because if that, then the queen moves across. Rook takes for free. I'm sure it's something to do with this knight. That's what it looks like. So let's use up all of these moves. Knight attacking the queen. Queen should have to move somewhere. But the pawn can take. So the pawn takes the knight off the board. And then the rook can take with a check. The queen's not going to take back because it's going to. So then the king moves here. Hmm, why did it just suddenly get murky then? Here. Yeah. Queen's being attacked if the rook went. Queen can just move, doesn't have to do anything, but we can still take the rook, rook, rook off the board. I do, I do believe it's that move. Yeah, that part is, I feel, set. So if we then do, do this, then he moves here, then we go here, then the pawn drops, then the pawn drops, the rook doesn't, this rook could come up, oh no, the knight's there, it's a bit messy. I'm making it too complicated. I don't think it's queen taking because obviously, like we said, the rook just takes the rook. I think we just still go with the rook taking the rook. Oh, we're right anyway. All that deliberation. <clears throat> 10 and 0. Let's see how we get on in the casual world of anonymous play. 
Okay, trying to pull together all of the types of learnings that we're doing from the evaluation. And as you can see, it's not perfect in any way, shape or form. I'm still making little blunderous things, getting overconfident, you know, getting a little bit too arty. And it just fall, you fall flat, flat on your face. So you've, you're really best off, especially end game. Keep it as simple as possible. So at least you know what you're doing. Why did I move the queen here? I don't know. Um, castle on the king side. And let's just bring the bishop through, x-ray him through to, to the bishop and the queen. Small piece attacking a higher piece, can't be wrong. And I think they're looking to get all this disappearing pawns in front of the king's type stuff. So I'm going to bring the knight here first. And that's a nice touch. Let's hit the bishop with the pawn. Like I said, I think they're going to be into all this disappearing knight malarkey. Um, could bring the knight or bring the queen here. Where's the queen going? Looks a little bit more active. Okay, bishop's got support. We could attack the knight with the pawn. Could take the knight off the board. Could get the knight here. Could, 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 could. Bring the queen off of the line of that, but then it's on this file. Could bring it here, in front of the queen, king. But then he drops the pawn, gets the bishop all fired up. I'm going to bring it here. I'm going to bring it here. Like I said, I think it's there and there, that type of thing. Okay, let's take this bishop off the board. Would have been causing us trouble. Let's get this pawn activated. Let's get the rook opposite there, king, queen. Nice touch, let's touch here, but let's get this um, rook opposite the queen. We've already seen the impact of having the rooks opposite the queen when things kick off. So he's got two pieces protecting. So one takes, we take, one takes. Just attack his bishop. It's not taking, let's take. Don't want to mess about. So he's looking for a glorious position attacking the pawn here. So I'm going to just bring the pawn up, trying to block off what the opponent's attempting to do. Need to look at it. how can I improve my position. Queen is protecting this pawn. I was just about to say we could come across here and try and start doing stuff, but we are opposite their king, so should we not take advantage of that? Push the pawn. Pawn takes. The rook is going to be on their queen. Let's push. Doesn't do that. So if we take, the queen comes down. If we push up, elevating the pawns a little bit further towards their king, must be a plus only downside is our knight's got no play so we need to adjust okay can keep pushing but we don't have any support on that side push onto the queen just moves to the side then doubles looks like a good start of a 10 though doesn't it push onto the queen smaller piece attacking a higher piece Moves to the side. Let's bring the rook here because they'll be looking to maybe do some doubling on that pawn. Oh, come on. It's got, it's got the pawn down the bottom. It's got the pawn here and here. Well, as we look to push up. So greedy munching queen again. We've seen it many times. Oh, it's not doing it just yet. So we can go here, we can go here. I think we'll just go here. It's not going to exchange, it's going for the greedy munch. So let's not be getting giddy. Let's push and then see if we can get yeah, get this. So he's got two pawns. Let's push them to the king. This king's getting a little bit condensed in, so there might be something. 
can't go here. It's gonna have to go here. Uh, oh, I wish I had something else just to squish it. But the rook can come here, but it's not doing much. Ah, it makes you think, did the opponent see all of that already? Hmm. Did they see that push? push. I'm gonna push something centimeter push. Something's telling me to push, push, push. Oh, it's on my queen. Oh, it's all over. Um, gone of the glory days. Okay, let's go here with a check. Get the knight off the board if we have to. I really want to push this pawn, but never mind. I'm coming off of the line. I don't really want to come off the line. Take a pawn. Come off the line, it's not good. I could take this. No, I can't take that. Could I still continue with this? Pushing the pawn if they take. Because all I wanted to do was kind of land on this here with a check. But I can put a check on his king just as an interim. Maybe I should have taken the pawn, but I'm not really into the pawn grabbing thing. Okay, come on, come on, let's. I've got the I've got the position, but it's not going to be much because the rook is just going to come here. But then we can take this rook off the board if they. Ooh. I'm going to push this pawn. Something's telling me to push. I think they can see what I'm trying to do, can't they? Get here and then squish, but it's just not letting me do it. That's on look, that's unfortunate. Let's go here and if we get that, then we can get that. But are we good? Are we gonna be allowed the time to do that? It looks like we might. Because there's nothing else that could Oh the Damn rook! If we take his rook. Oh, but the pawn takes. Shaba! Come on, I'm so wanting to just get this. If I get here, then his rook has to move, but it's probably just going to stay on the file here. Come on, cut. What? Cut me some slack. Yeah, it's just stopping everything, so I think I'm going to have to go for an exchange. Because we have got a knight, although they do have an ex highly advanced pawn. Where this player is playing, though, he's probably just going to come and defend rather than take the queen off. Oh, and they have done. Yay, so if he goes for the pawn, then we can take the pawn. Okay, we'll take this here then. So he's got a pawn majority on this side. King's gonna have to act as a pawn or something. He's got a pawn majority on that side as well. Wow, we're down all sorts. I think we had to take that chance with the, what? Oh, come on, they're making us work. They're making us, what is the deal here? Let's push this. I'm not going here with the rook to attack here. It's just jamming his rook in. So we fought. Let's attack. Can't go anywhere else. Oh, I can. Hmm, not sure about this now. He's on my night. I'm not sure about that. Don't want to get too close as well because it just comes in here. But the knight's protected. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, that's what we needed. Bit of human mistake error.
10 and 0. Last game of the training session today. It's been a really good session. Looking at the evaluation of the games. Um, I haven't recorded all of them. I just did one because they can get quite intense, the evaluations. And looking at what we're looking to do, next steps, that type of stuff. And um, we did a puzzle, which is good. And feeling really pumped up, played a few games, just <laughs> they're not the perfect games in the world, but you know, we enjoy playing the games. And it's always nice to play against quirky players, odd players, players that just look like they don't know what they're doing, but suddenly they come out with some strange stuff. Can only improve your game, changes the way that your brain can think and has to think. Let's take this night off the board, keep that simple. And it's always a case of not oversimplifying sometimes. You have to look at the whole game in the holistic sense. Is it worthwhile simplifying the pawn structure? Is it worthwhile actually capturing? I'm going to take this pawn here. Because each, each area, you see, my brain's gone straight away. Well, why have you gone there? So I'm, I'm going to have to come here because the knight's going to get challenged. So I can't come here because the bishop will take or whatever. So... Let's go here, we're attacking the queen, but we have the bishop, like we said. So little things like that, forward motion of the knights, I've probably mentioned before, is good, but then you have to look at, well, where, where is it going from there? What's going on there? Where is it going from there? What can it do? Rook will be on. No, we won't do that. See, just have a look at this position. The knight doesn't really have anywhere to go, does it? So we need to give it somewhere to go because I think this pawn is just simply going to jump down and, and hit it. Scary times. Or we could move this pawn up. Any one of the pawns. That one's just going to be by itself. Don't really want the knight going over there. I'd rather have the knight sitting here. So let's push this pawn. So definitely looking at what the opponent is attempting to do, always, and because the smallest of movements might mean nothing to you. Ooh, no forks, no forks whatsoever. Not got a sausage, got a sausage here, but then the bishop's defending. So we could now attack the bishop, and the rook will be on the. It's attacking the pawn though, so we don't want to give the pawn up for free, do we? No, let's do that. See, even though you see the obvious things, like this bishop was attacking the pawn, my brain's instantly going, well, what can I get? What can I get? And you, you have to really refrain. The knight's still got a nice position to come back to. We are looking to try and get this so that then we're x-raying through with the rook onto the queen. But we might not get that off. No, we're not, because it's just taken got fed up with the position so now I have to change everything now it's like oh that would have been quite nice but can't do that anymore they're in full-on attack mode we're attacking this pawn here I'm not too sure if I'd take it anyway because it could just go like this then we have to move and his rook is in front of our queen okay right um rooks need to be owning this file don't they need to be trying getting into this area so thankfully they've got some sort of split pawn situation going on here, isolated pawns. But we have to make something of it by just improve, trying to improve our position. He's got a power base here attacking the pawn. I'm not right sure what else this rook's going to do on this file. Could attack this pawn. Put a 2 on 1 on this. This bishop's not really going to protect because we can take. So maybe push him. I don't think there's anything that can defend it. So he might have to resign himself to the fact of that. And the queen's not going to take here because the rook will take. So we'll take. Also on the bishop. Obviously that's going to get covered off with the... Oh, okay, right, that shocked me. 
So we're on the bishop, but he can defend himself now. Or, in fact, attack. Probably attack is better. We've gone for the attack. We can go up here and attack. And let's keep it real simple. See if we get the back rank and squish the king. Bishop's got a nice position here. Uh, we could put a check on. And then... Looks like we can get maybe... Some... His bishop off the board. Yeah. So we put the check on. His king comes across. Put the check on. Oh, we go, ho, ho. Come across here. Because the bishop's got the check on the king. Then we can take the bishop off the board. Let's do that. Don't forget to come back this way, dude. Okay, so we've got the check on with the um, bishop. And we can take. If there's nothing else, is there? Let's just take. Don't show about it. Alright, so they're not um, giving up. Let's go for trying to get the rooks on the back again. Not ignoring this pawn, it can be taken. Obviously, it can come down and start harassing the bishop. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can get maybe this at least. Yeah, so they have come down. So I think if we go one, then he takes the pawn. At least the rook is ready. Takes the pawn. Going to put the check on just to let him know we're in the game. Then take the pawn. And we get back rank mated if we move this rook. So it would be a draw. So we can move the bishop still because we're not losing that much tempo. Uh, could be a draw. Why fight anything else, you know? Boom, boom, boom. So if I went there... Oh, I'd be able to get his rook off the board. Silly me. <laughs> I'd be able to get his rook off the board. And they're doing too much counting. Yeah, because the bishops... The magic of the bishop and the rook situation. <gasps> what? Oh. <laughs> I do not believe this is happening. No way. Oh, he's so silly. I got so cocky, didn't I? Got too cocky, but it's all over now. It's done. It don't make no difference about the bishop. He can't get out of this one. This is um, he's gonna have to move the rook. He, I suppose he can't get out of it. I'm getting too cocky because he can move the rook out of the way. So he's then just getting checks and checks and checks on the king. This one has to move properly to here. So when we check, it goes backwards and forwards and we have to try and find that sort of double doors thing where we can go like that. But it ends up being a draw. Why did he do that? It missed the tempo. Playing so good. Ah, oh, dear me, didn't have to do that. Let's have a look at the analysis and see how it would could have fared. Oh, look at that. Minus five. That looks really, really good. And um, what did I say? I said probably just moving this to protect. Something like that. And then if we start chasing him around, then he goes here. Then he goes here. And the idea was really to look at trying to get a double on here, but he never allows it. So we could come across. But I remember in the over the board game, um, I had something very similar to this and I let it draw out when actually I could have actually won the game. It was very similar to this actually. And it's actually saying take the thing. So because we've got loads of pawns on, it's basically saying we're, we're going to be okay anyway. So yeah, that's fine. I don't want to play against the computer, but yeah, losing the damn bishop, that's a bit stupid. Where was that? Yeah, I got, got too carried away. Although it's really showing it don't make a much difference. It's still minus four, so I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Yeah, a bit silly, but what can you do? It's minus 11. Oh, it's minus 90. My, oh, ho! Oh. Mating 21 moves. Silly me. 
Silly, silly, silly. What's it say? King H1. Bishop E4. That's all a bit of a dance, really, isn't it? Okay. Fair enough. So we weren't losing anyway, even though we'd lost the bishop. We just needed to improve a little bit better. 